Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be testing a three-in-one airbrush. And it's by Casso Barris. That's the company that makes the, uh, the original um, portable air compressor airbrush with the uh, removable batteries. Um, so that's going back a ways when I tested it. Um, I've used it a few times still, and, uh, you know, it works. It works well. And um, this is their new product. I noticed it and grabbed one, and I didn't see any reviews, so I'm thinking this is brand new. And by a 301, we are talking gravity feed, side feed, siphon feed. And I'll show you. It's kind of like the 360 by um, Badger, which I tested a while ago. Let's flip her over. Take the protective cap off. All right. We got a stopper in the back, tradition there. Let's take a peek here. It's got a little rubber seal there, pretty nice. It's kind of heavy, well, probably because of this whole mechanism here. Let's check the needle. Oh, looking all right. Standard mechanism based on their other airbrush, I would guess. All right, let me lock this in. All right. All right, let's put that back. All right. Uh, What's unique is it has a Mac valve. It didn't really need the Mac valve. I don't use them that often. My friend uses it. He does military work and he dials it way down and he puts a little uh, stippling for mud and effects. Um, I rarely use these. Uh, but I'll show you the three in one that we speak of. Let's start with the gravity. Here's the cup. Take that lid off. There we go. Now we have a gravity feed. I guess we can tip it, but you have a risk of uh, losing some paint in there, but still, you could do it, right? With a little bit at the bottom, just tip it. So I will try that. All right, let's take that out. Now this is the main inlet, this one right here. So now we're gonna go twist it to the side. Check this out. We'll go with the side feed here. It's got a nice gasket on it. This plugs in here. And then we'll just attach this. Sorry, guys, I got to do this from behind the camera. There we go. Now we got a side feed. I can even bend it if I'm going to paint down or up. That's just pretty cool. Lock that in there. All right, there we go. A side feed. Now I wish it was a side feed up here, like, you know, the cop style, but I guess it would have been uh, a whole other type of mechanism they would have needed. So I guess it's a side feed that's basically a siphon. And then, if you guys are watching this, make uh, if you make this side feed with this, if you make a cup with an angle and you screw that in, and you keep it up here, then you got something. This is basically a side siphon, which is really no different from this, depending on what you're painting. I'll leave this out. So yeah, it's a little bit of a disappointment, guys, that uh, a side feed is, a true side feed is a cup that goes here, a gravity. So now we're going to flip this again, all the way to the bottom, and let's lock that in, and now we have a true siphon feed, there we go. Not too bad, all right? That's great for primers, load this up, prime a whole kit. I'll prime this paint, I mean, I'll, paint, I'll prime this wing from this plane. We're going to do that in the test. So, let's see if it holds itself up. Nope. But, uh, overall, pretty good quality. Um, we're going to see how it performs. That's what I'm curious about, is its performance. All right, there's the siphon, there's the side. We're going to start with the gravity. So, let's flip this back, put this on here. And uh, another thing I want to make an announcement um, first let's put on a quick release so it fits onto my hose. There we go. Um, the announcement is I'll give this away. Uh, after the review, um, just subscribe. Make sure you're a subscriber. Like the video. Leave a comment. You're going to leave a comment because I'm going to use a uh, comment picker to pick a random winner of this. But yeah, I will uh, clean this out really nice and I will give it away to uh, one of my viewers. So like I said, subscribe leave a comment, give us a thumb up, and um, from there we will pick a winner. So 
We will give this one away. So somebody will end up with this. Hey, I haven't tested this yet. Let's hope it's good because someone's going to win it. I don't want to give out uh, something poor. But uh, based on the airbrush that they sent me a long time ago, I bought it quite a while ago, uh, um, it, it performs well. So let's see if we get the same out of this. I'm going to set it at, there's no book in it, so I'm going to set it at uh, 20 PSI right down the middle. And uh, here we go. I can see if it my fit my holder there. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to prime. We'll use my AK micro filler. Uh, I use this because I got like two bottles of it. I got two by accident, so I use a lot of this on video. It's a great performing primer, by the way. And then for the color, we'll try some, uh, to me, a lacquer. Um, used this recently behind the scenes, and it's really a fantastic paint. Um, and I'm going to try these spoons. I saw these today at Walmart. Right? Compostable. So we can, uh, these are uh, uh, recyclable. They break down in compost. So I want to see if these don't have that uh, oil that I get. And a lot of them I have to sand, wash them in, in uh, uh, alcohol, you know, so there's nothing on them. I'm going to take this right out of the box, which I did, you know, 24 in here. It was like a dollar or something. These are cheap. And um, spray right on it, and we'll see uh, if nothing happens. That means I know this is a, probably a different process, how they're made. And then uh, we'll paint maybe a piece red. We'll prime this, and we're going to try the primer on this. And uh, let's see how it performs. All right? All right, guys. Uh, yeah, let me prep the paint. We'll head over to the booth. And uh, fingers crossed, this runs great because someone is going to win this. All right, guys. Here we are at the booth. We're going to go ahead with the lacquer from Tamiya LP21. What is this? Italian red? I guess that's Ferrari red is what they mean. They just don't have the rights to the word Ferrari. All right. Let's see how we go. Hopefully these spoons work. Well, this puts on a lot of paint. I better. I think I can dial down the. Uh... Wow, went on nice. Woof. It looks pink because of the lighting, because of these spoons. I'm guessing, but it's pretty dark red. We'll go over that at the uh, bench. Let me put that aside. Um, let me see. Let me try and lower the pressure a little bit. It seems like it was pushing a lot of paint. There we go. Go to 18 psi. I probably should have put this red, looks like it's pretty bright, over uh, a gray primer. Which I do have over here. Alright, come on, nice and even. Not bad. Atomizes the paint really well. Let me see how much of a fine line we can get here. One second, guys. I gotta refill the cup. Sorry about the pause, guys. I had to put some paint in here, and uh, the camera's right here, so I didn't want to hit the camera at all. Let's see if we can get some fine lines in it. Let's see. I turned down the air a little bit, below 20 PSI. All right, here we go. Wow, that's not bad. It's, it's not fuzzy or anything. Not bad, kind of impressed. Let's see how wide we can go. Yeah, it's a nice needle, it's a good size. Whatever it is, let me know guys what this is. Yeah, I can get some good control. Let's see if we can move this out of the way. So we can kind of make it a traditional side feed here. See, now I can kind of, if I'm doing like uh, pre-shading or something, so yeah, I can kind of get in here and see what I'm doing. Not bad. Not bad. It doesn't make any of the jagged or fuzzy lines, which is something I look for when trying to get little details like this. I'm trying to get in close. But it also goes from that to that in a flash so yeah the gravity part it works good the needle seems to be good control is not bad all right let's clean this out we'll put in some siphon in there and uh, we'll try some primer 
All right, guys, here we go. The uh, AK primer and micro filler. Here we go. Uh, don't need to try all of them. You know, the top and the siphon, the, the side is basically a siphon just off to the side, so I figured we'd just go with this for the test. And uh, I thinned the primer a little bit with some lacquer thinner. And oh man, it pushes some paint. Really good for priming. So let's go ahead and prime this wing. Should have used another color so you guys can see it getting primed. But uh, I'll show you at the bench. Oh, it goes on really good. Really, you see how shiny and smooth and wet? It's, uh, it, it's pretty good. Like I said, you're going to uh, get a whole kit primed with a big jar like this. My buddy uses a siphon just for priming, and uh, now I know why. Fantastic. All right, let's see. This you'll be able to see it getting primed. There goes the compressor. We have turned it gray from green. I think this is from a Leo kit, if I'm not mistaken. I like this primer quite a bit, too. Here we go. Again, I don't know if I can get this uh, fine details with primer, but let's see. Eh, I mean, you know, it's the same needle. Primer's a little thicker of a paint, so it's tough to get in close with the jar in the way, too, but still. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Uh, pretty good. I'm going to uh, clean this out. I have to meet you back at the bench. I'll show you the results, and uh, we'll wrap this up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to give this away. And uh, I don't feel bad giving it away now because it's, it's actually pretty good. I might as well show you this, guys. What, what I like about this for cleaning is I just pop this off the bottom, flipped it up. Now I can clean it out like a gravity, just get in there and put everything in and bring this to the bench and clean it separate. So that is pretty good. I do like the way you can flip it. Um, kind of making me, uh, who I don't, I don't like siphon feeds because of the cleaning. You know, you got to clean all the jars and everything. Um, but this eliminates a, a kind of a pain, but just be able to be able to flip this up and then clean it out as if it was a gravity feed, get the rest of it out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I figured I'd show you that before we headed back to the bench. All right, here we are at the bench with the results and uh, kind of impressed. It, 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 it really performed well. Look at how smooth it laid down this Tamiya lacquer. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. There's the Gumpla piece, same thing. Look at this, looks like it's molding a red. Really good. That's over a base of white. So it did end up coming out pretty good. Look at that. So, um, I didn't show the side feed because technically it's the same as the, the siphon. It's just off to the side. A true side feed, uh, if you guys are watching, is, a, is the gravity cup over here. That's the side feed. But um, still, it gives you an option. Plus, to have two cups. Um, my buddy, I told you, he uses a, a siphon feed for priming. And uh, what he does is he keeps, them in the, he keeps the paint in the jars. He just changes the lid, keep them from drying, pops it on. Now with this, you can do the same and have a side, this one ready to go for another color, you know, and sometimes he'll prime black and gray uh, on the same kit, so he has the primers ready to go. So for that, it is good, and it did prime quite well. Um, this is a combination of it spraying well, and I do like this primer quite a bit. I might feature a video on it because I want to show it off. It's that good. Look at that. This is the primer I'm going to use in my Patreon video. We're going to see how... Uh, primer looks over my 2k if, if it lo if we lose any details making sure my 2k black paint isn't too thick so we will use this for that look at that oh where's the gumpla piece here it is it was over green there we go covered it nice so there yep it performs well uh 
a couple of nice features you don't see too often. Um, I know I'm giving this one away, but let me give you the price. It's currently $49.99 with a 20% coupon. I just noticed before I started the video. That puts it at $39.99, and I think there's another discount on top of that. I'm not sure. It might have been just for me. It looked like another 10%. But at $39, um, it's, it, it's, it's worthy. It works. So uh, I will give it a thumb up because it, it just performed really well. And, it's, and when you hold it, it's really really beefy and I do love these caps they come with they're great for back flushing right there and it's got a protective cap I should have took that off when I did the close up uh where is that hold on guys oh there it is I did the close up I should have took the cap off I probably got it even better but look at anyway not bad and then and the same thing we got the big swatch there of paint so anyway this could be yours. Also, I'll put a link below where you can get it. It's currently uh, it's forty nine, but there's a twenty percent uh, coupon, making it thirty nine ninety nine. Uh, not bad at all. Um, so there you go. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, coming up, uh, we got a couple of things to tell you about. Uh, a patron mentioned this one K from Duplicolor Claire. I got to pick up the mat. The other store had the mat. The other store had the Claire. I didn't go back and forth. I didn't pick up the mat. We're going to try both. But just to give you guys an example, that green that I tested the other day from AK, the metallic green, it was flat. Look at this. And uh, look at this. Gasoline resistant, scratch resistant, so it's made for cars. So we're talking durable. I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, just so you can see how, how nice this is. Uh, so that's coming up. We might have a little uh, secret weapon there. Thank you for who recommended that. Don't know if he wants his name mentioned. And uh, also coming up, I'm working behind the scenes on a big paint test. Uh, Sun and Seven, they have acrylics and they have solvents, so I had to do both in separate testing. There's a lot of colors, so I'm going to have to pick certain types of colors, opaques, uh, these metal colors uh, in that video. I'm working on that now. Here's some of the colors. Yes, look at how awesome. Look at that. So uh, here's a clear red. So there's all kinds of stuff with sun, and I don't know how I'm going to break it down, how I'm going to uh, separate what I'm going to paint in the video, or if overall, maybe I might try all of them and see if the brand is worthy. So far, it is. I do like the results I'm getting, and uh, yeah. So, those are a couple of tests coming up. I got a primer test coming up, those spray cans I got too. That Duplo 1K is I'm pretty excited to try that too. I can't wait to see how the flat comes out. So that's coming up also. Anyway, there you go, guys. There is the three-in-one, and uh, it performs quite well. And uh, I do recommend it. It is, a uh, at that price, tough to beat. Anyway, guys, I'll put the link below for everything. Also, for my Patreon, I mentioned I'm doing a couple tests for my fellow patrons. Um, I'll put that link below. It's only 4 bucks a month, and you guys get to uh, ask me anything. And then if it requires a video like that 2K one, I'll do it on video for you. So that's coming up. And I'll put a link to this below. I don't know how long it's going to be uh, the 20% off, but right now it is. So there you go. Anyway, guys, have a great rest of your day. It's Friday. I'll try and get another video up over the weekend. We are pushing towards four videos this week, and uh, I might be able to do it. Anyway, guys, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Leave a comment below if you want to win. And uh, that's all. We will see you in the next video.